For this next problem, what we're going to do is um, create uh, some points and then also some blue squares. We're going to have a plot with uh, red circles and then some additional data trend with blue squares. We're going to change some of the things like axis limits um, for the X and Y axis. Also the marker size. Uh, just a couple other things with this um, data. Just go ahead and type in, if you don't have it already, just go ahead and type in uh, this. We need to import NumPy if you haven't done it already. Also the random, uh, you know, random numbers there. And then if you haven't uh, done it already as well, we'll import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Okay, so we're going to use that one as well. All right, so. We've got uh, some of this data. Now we're just going to go down and uh, start to plot it. What I like to do is go ahead and create a new figure. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and plot the X and the Y data. And let's just go ahead and plot the X and the Z data as well. So this just gives, just gives us an idea of the type of data that we're dealing with. Okay, so there's the data. but you know, this isn't really a line. These are points, uh, and we want to show uh, show some of the points on this uh, you know on this plot a little bit better. I'm going to change that to a red circle and then a blue square as well. Okay, so there's some squares and circles. Uh, we want to change the marker size. Okay, I'll change that to 10, and then also. Let me give this a label so we can tell you know, which ones are which. Um, I'll let you give that the Y label. And let's do the same thing here, but I'm not going to change the size. I'm just going to say label equals Z. Okay, and then I need to do a legend. All right, so it puts in the Y and the X. I can also change the location of this. If I say two, Gonna put it over here. One is gonna be in the in the defaults. Okay, three is gonna put it down in the bottom left, and four is gonna be in the bottom right. If I do location is best, then it's gonna try to. Oh no, it's not defined. I think it was. Uh, let's see. There's a. I've got to put that in single quotes. Okay, so then it just figures out where are no points and tries to uh, put the legend there. Okay, so um, all right, so that is our problem. Now, now one of the things that we need to do is is change the the limits. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, get the kind of get an axis object. Okay, so this plot object. Um, and to do that, you just go ahead and type in this command. And AX is in, uh, let's see if we can print AX. I haven't tried this before, just to see what it says. Okay, so there's our axis object. And then we can go in and change um, some things about this. Okay, so I'm gonna do set Y limit. And let's go negative 300, don't forget the comma in between those. So right now it's between negative 200 to 250. We want to set it to between negative 300 to 300. Okay, and then we can do the same thing before the X. All right, so X limit, and we want to set that between zero and 120. Okay, so all right, so we've got, we adjusted our axis um, limits there. Okay, so that's it for this one. You can, I mean, you can customize it more as well. You know, this is um, you know, just some customization, but for every plot, you really want to be careful about, you know, what what is the information you're really trying to convey um, to the person that's looking at this. And, uh, you know, so does this plot do a good job? You know, a lot of these, red circles are covering each other. You might say, well, maybe that's just a little bit overboard on the size. 
you want to be able to see the scatter but also see the individual points um, you might use lines as well there's other things you can do to try to enhance uh, this if it gets too busy then you might consider uh, doing some subplots as well okay where you put these on different um, subplots okay so then you see the data um, in, in this case I only did the uh, axis limits on the first on the second one so you need to come in here and put those in on the first one as well so you can compare uh, the two sets of data with the same axis limits okay so so that's just uh, a little bit of a clue on how to um, you know how to set up uh, these these scatter plots change the uh, you know change some of the the colors the the you know the other aspects of these marker size x and y limits as well for the next problem we're going to do some pie charts and bar charts